Hello. Behind me is the British House of Parliament, which I promise, as much as it looks like it, is not a green screen. Evidence by my moving. Which, of course, President Barack Obama addressed in May 2011. A speech he used to reaffirm the alliance between America and Great Britain, otherwise known as the Special Relationship. However, if things had gone slightly differently on November 4th, 2008, that speech could have been given by someone completely different. By a veteran of the Vietnam War, by a senator from Arizona, by someone who is the feature of today's video. That man, of course, is Senator John McCain. So yeah, as I said, this video will be about John McCain and obviously the, well, I think it's obvious, the major event of John McCain's hypothetical presidency that I will be considering as the kind of major event would be his response to the 2008 financial crisis. So, yeah, I mean, it just seems like the really obvious um, big event in McCain's presidency would have been the financial crash. And obviously it kind of happened under his predecessor or would have been his predecessor, George Bush. But his response to it, like it was for Obama, would have really defined him. And this will also tie in to the next section of his sort of economic performance, which I will keep quite short because I'll go over most of that stuff here. Again, I mean, like I've done in previous videos, we can sort of look at what McCain said he would do. I mean, I've been researching this in the last few days, going back into the kind of the um, media from the time and what they said. And I mean, McCain, he did have a plan. By all accounts, it wasn't a very detailed, a very formulated plan, but you know, he wanted things that were quite generic Republican, um, a cut in the corporate tax rate to try and allow for faster deductions of business equipment and technology to create investment. I think how much that would have worked is really disputed, but I do think it's what he would have done as president. Um, I mean, the thing is, Obama called for those things too. So in that regard, it probably isn't too different. And he did also call for a stimulus bill as a candidate and even after he lost, but he fought Obama's stimulus pretty intensely. So the stimulus bill you're going to see under John McCain will not be anywhere near as generous. Um, he also did, for what it's worth, oppose the bailouts of the auto industry. Um, he opposed the idea of them as a candidate and then he opposed them post-president, sorry, um, post-election in the Senate. So I don't think that you would have seen the bailouts for, you know, Detroit's automakers and would the auto industry have recovered in the way it did? I think pretty clearly no. I mean, the audio, the, 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 um, the auto industry would have been really hurt by a president, John McCain, because, I mean, those bailouts were critical to that industry, to all the jobs in the industry, to the geographical regions the industries are kind of based in. So, you know, McCain isn't going to do that. And the stimulus bill you see under him will be... Some people, there's been debate in years, for recent years, as would there have been any kind of stimulus bill? I think, yeah, you know, there is going to be a stimulus, but it's going to be so much less comprehensive that it doesn't do the sort of the point, it doesn't fulfill the role of a stimulus. And thus the 2008 recession, I think is, it could have been even worse. And I mean, I wouldn't even rule out under John McCain, it's sliding into a depression. And I mean, the consequences that would have for him politically, um, most presidents do suffer some pain in their first midterm. But if at this point, America had slid into a depression and the auto industry was in tatters, the bailout was so uncomprehensive and looked like even more of a corporate kind of bailout than people said Obama's did, the midterms would have been absolutely brutal for the Republicans. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of thinking some of the worst ever witnessed by a party, you know, for any party in the midterms. And I just think that 
there's the consequences you would see from the lack of the bailout in the way that McCain would go about that period. Things like um, you're going to see a really emboldened left as people suffer even more than they did Occupy Wall Street. It probably takes on even more forces, even more kind of um, successful and even more catches public imagination even more because people are hurting more and McCain's bailout would have looked more like like I've said, even more of a corporate handout. So I think that's pretty clear. Pretty clearly is the way McCain would have handled that. I mean, even if you read about his time as a candidate, um, Tim Alberta in his great book American Carnage, which I would I recommend, he talked about a crisis meeting that George W. Bush held, um, in I think sort of early fall two thousand and eight. And he had his Treasury Secretary and he invited both candidates, uh, John McCain and Barack Obama. And by all accounts, and Obama touched on this in his his memoir, McCain was not super prepared. He read from a sheet of notes that were pretty generic Republican talking points. I don't think he was, um, for all his successes in, in, in his life and did many great things and was a fantastic politician and individual in many ways, but I don't think he was a trained economist or had a great grasp of of the situation. And I think that when politicians, when leaders aren't tremendously well briefed in economics, it can lead to some quite, it doesn't always lead to the best responses when things go wrong economically. They kind of, they can get pushed around a bit. And I think you really push around, I mean, of course, by advisors and events, but I, I really think that's what you would have seen from McCain in the handling of the major event of his presidency, which, as I've said, would have been, in, in my opinion, the response to the financial crash. So in regards to the rest of the economy, I'm not going to linger on this because I just covered a lot of that. A main difference, if you can call it economic, is there isn't going to be, obviously, uh, you know, Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. But besides that, I think I give a pretty good gist of what McCain's economic performance would look like and I'm not going to linger to any more on that. I'm going to try and talk now about what I think John McCain's foreign policy would have looked like. I think this is, at least to me, really interesting. And the thing that makes it so interesting is how much would stay the same. That surprised me, um, especially in Obama's first term when you consider what Obama did, it was quite conventional. I mean, if he kept on George Bush's, George Bush's Secretary of Defense, you know, this was a fairly conventional foreign policy. And I think under John McCain, the drone strikes and the, all the sort of counter-terrorism stuff is very similar. Um, the Bin Laden raid, that still happens. Um, the surge in Afghanistan, in my opinion, isn't going to change. And some of the good things Obama did, you know, putting a ban on torture, John McCain as a as a, a as a torture uh, victim, was very strong on this. Would have been very similar. He goes after you know things like Edward Snowden with the same intensity. That doesn't really change. Um, I think McCain probably stands up to Russia more and Putin. Sanctions for what happened in Crimea are pretty likely. I think. Um, even more strenuously, but again, someday I want to make videos on this kind of topic and really go into it, but I don't see how much things could have changed under McCain. I don't know America was in a position to actually respond to what happened in Crimea, so more sanctions, but I don't think the end result is that different to where we are uh, now. And in terms of Libya, you know, I think America still will intervene. Um. And I think, you know, Gaddafi is still is still gone. That's still the same. In terms of what's different, the big one that jumps out at me, you know, if McCain does the second term, which I'll get to, obviously the Iran deal doesn't happen under any Republican. Um, I don't think the START treaty that Obama worked out with uh, Medvedev is going to happen. There's no opening with Cuba. And... McCain probably doesn't want to cooperate with Russia over the chemical weapons uh, used by Assad in the way that Obama did. 
Um, I think McKeon maybe does send troops into in Syria a bit um, much more confidently um, than Obama did. Gets it, you know, actually acts on the red lines. And lastly, I think the Iraq withdrawal probably isn't going to happen, and probably takes a lot. Um, if it does happen, it takes a lot longer. You know, but McCain's the thing about this video is John McCain is such a conventional Republican. I know he's got this whole maverick thing, but in so many ways, especially foreign policy, he really isn't that much of a maverick. Um, if Mitt Romney had won the primary in 2008 and then become president, his foreign policy to John McCain's very similar. It's just it's conventional Republican orthodoxy. Um, these are the, kind of the examples I give, and you know, that's overall exactly how I think John McCain's foreign policy uh, will look for good or bad. I don't, I can't quite say. Um, in my opinion, overall, not having diplomacy with Iran is probably a loss. But yeah, that's really how it would look, in my opinion. I don't know what the deal was, but we'll find out what the deal was. So in terms of, I guess, is finally understanding what McCain's presidency would have been perceived as, would he have been popular? As is a theme with this little series, we're going to have, you know, three presidents Clinton, McCain and Gore, who were third terms of one party. And I don't think that, I think it's so hard for a third termer to win. I mean, history shows us that parties rarely get three terms. Four is treacherously hard. And I don't think John McCain would have been a popular president. I think, as I've covered in this video, his response to the financial crisis maybe, you know, falls into a, America falls into a depression. They get beaten in the midterms. The auto industry is in tatters. And I really think that he will struggle to get re-election. I mean, I haven't even discussed, but he's got Sarah Palin, you know, in the Naval Observatory as, as vice president. And who knows what crazy stuff she would have said and done. And I, I really do think that McCain would have lost. You'd have had quite a strong backlash in 2012 against the state of the economy, against 12 years of Republicans, and maybe Hillary runs, maybe you get a McCain-Obama rematch. That's sort of hard to say, but, or maybe a Bernie Sanders type figure. I mean, Bernie Sanders clearly, you know, is a guy who wants to be president. He's ran twice, and on the back of a even more empowered Occupy Wall Street, maybe you get a more left-wing Democrat, but... I don't think McCain would be a popular president and the reasons are pretty obvious. I mean, I've kind of covered them. People haven't got health insurance like they got under Obama. Auto industries in tatters. Maybe the economy's in a depression and he has that kind of grumpy vibe, doesn't he? He's not, you know, he always seems a little grouchy. I don't know quite how, how the media would have uh, covered his presidency. I don't think it would have been super popular. And for that reason... You know, I really think John McCain is, unfortunately for him, a one-term hypothetical president who is, whose, whose approval ratings probably, I would guess, really struggle. I think he is as popular as, after a little honeymoon period, um, presidents still got honeymoon periods then. It wasn't quite as, um, as, as partisan. You know, presidents still got little honeymoon periods from both sides. And uh, after that ends... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice, I was, after a weekend in London, my voice is a bit hoarse, but I really think that John McCain will, I think he loses a second term. Get out of here, you low-life scum. So, yeah, um, that's it. That's hypothetical President John McCain. Uh, next up will, of course, be hypothetical President uh, John Kerry to, to the sort of eight, nine, ten people who are watching all of these. I'm super grateful. I'm really enjoying making them. And again, the promise still stands. I will reply to all comments. Still no comments, but when the first comment comes in, I promise I will reply. Just for the record, definitely 100%, not a green screen. House of Parliament, Barbara Strauss from there, Keir Starmer exists in there. Not a green screen, not a green screen.